Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. The company SRNE just sent over a 5,000 watt hybrid inverter. This is the model HYP4850U100H. It's supposed to be a off-grid or grid-tied system and hopefully also a grid-tied limiter system that uses uh, phase shift detection. I'm not sure what that means, but we're going to try it out. So let's do an unboxing of this unit, uh, take a look at all its features, and then do an install to see how well it performs. Whenever I open up the box, there is a little pamphlet that shows all the different models that SRNE sells. It's got a, a dry connect fitting there. It's got a little certification that says this has been approved or checked out. It also has a nice user manual, which we will probably take a closer look at here in just a moment, but it's got lots of information as far as uh, diagrams and codes to set. Also has some terminal screws and some posts for batteries. All right, let's go ahead and pull the packaging out of the way here and see if we can't get to this inverter. Seems to be packaged well and has survived the shipment over here. All right, let's take a tour around this product real quick. Here, the first thing I'm noticing is there is a removable plastic piece that keeps the screen protected. Very nice. So you can see the SRNE logo up here and the nice big display. All right, so let's start over here on this side. There is a breaker. You can turn on or off right here. It doesn't say any more information other than on and off. There is a cooling port up here. If we turn to the top, there is a place to mount this inverter. It just has a couple of holes in the metal sleeve there to be able to mount this. All right, if we turn it to this side, at the top it's also got more of the cooling port. And then down here, there is a sticker with information. All right, let's move this over here to the business end and let's do a close up so you can see what all is going on here. First off, you can see a cooling fan down here and also another one right here to allow plenty of airflow into this inverter. This is where the battery cables will go right here. Battery positive, battery negative. Over here is PV positive, PV negative. We've got your load, neutral, and ground AC out right here. AC in, we've got ground, load, and neutral right there. There is an on and off switch right here. You've got your RS-485 port right here. USB, another RS-485. And then down here is connections for your parallel. And then there's your uh, dry connect as well. There are two screws, one on the left, one on the right, that should allow us to remove this front cover. And that will also let us be able to see what all we've got going on in here. There we go, just picks up straight. You can see right down in here, that's where the battery positive and negative will attach to the inverter. And then you move over here, there is the PV positive, PV negative, and you got your AC out and your AC in over here on this side. Pretty straightforward and easy to access. All right, now that we have seen the inverter from the outside, let's go ahead and hook this up to a battery and see if we can't get some information here on the screen. Now that we've seen the overview of this inverter, let's go ahead and hang it on the wall and then connect it to a battery to see how it operates. I've got a little test wall over here that I can use to mount this. And I'm just gonna use some uh, little screws here. This is not gonna be my permanent install location. So I'm just going to uh, get this uh, hanging up here. There are two screw holes on the top and one on the inside you can use to lock this to whatever you're mounting to. The space provided to work with for the battery cables is very small, as you can see right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a mechanical lug like this one to get my cable into first. And then I can uh, just stick this up in here, hopefully. Well, yeah, it's a tight fit. I think it'll work though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that way uh, I don't have to worry about getting this in there and uh, not having enough room. All right, so hopefully I can fit this in here. Man, it's not much room to work with. There we go. All 
All right, yeah, I think that's gonna work. There's the positive side. Let me work on the negative real quick. Now that I have my cables hooked up here to the inverter, I'm going to connect them to a battery. So we can see some output here on the inverter. Okay, battery is on. Go ahead and flip on the breaker over here to the inverter. There we go. The unit is on here. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. Whenever this unit first kicked on, the fans revved up to high, but now we've got 52.7 volts on the battery and 120 volt output. Uh, of course, there's nothing up here because there's nothing on the output. So let me go ahead and wire up an outlet and we will see about getting some output here. Simply for demonstration purposes, I have a receptacle wired up to the AC output of the inverter. So that will allow me to turn on this light and we'll see some output. So let me go ahead and uh, flip the breaker back on. Give that a second. Turn the power back on up under here and we will watch the inverter reboot. You can hear those uh, fans kick on again as well. The display says standby mode right here as it is reading the battery and preparing to boot up the inverter. 52.7. Cooling fans have turned on. In just a moment, we should see the voltage here on the output. There we go, it just clicked, 120 volts output. So let's see, standby mode has gone away. Let's see if we now have power to this light. Yep, we sure do. And let's see if we can scroll through here and see what power usage is being consumed. I've turned off the overhead lights so you can see this display better. Let me turn off this light and see if that 35 watts here goes away. Yep, there it goes. So now back to zero. Turn this back on again. There we go. So nice. I really enjoy a display that shows you the amount of power that's being consumed there. 60 hertz, 19 degrees Celsius, Battery says 48 volt. There we go, the actual battery state is 52.7. Looks like the AC output of this inverter is working quite well. 60 hertz, 120 volts. I did not see any flickering on this LED light. So uh, 5,000 watts single phase is the output on this machine here. If you want to check out more information on this inverter, I will have links in the description down below. Now be sure to stay tuned to the Landa House channel because I will be doing a full install of this inverter and this battery coming up very soon. I'm Seth with Landa House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.